April 8th, thousands of tourists are expected to flock to North Texas, all for the great North American eclipse. So we're lucky because Dallas is the largest city in North America that's literally right in the path of this very rare total solar eclipse. Our Brooke Rogers is making sure that North Texans are ready. Five weeks from today, this parking lot at the frontiers of Flight Museum will be just one destination that visitors from around the world will descend upon. And preparations for April 8th have been in the works for years. It isn't often that you get a front row seat to a historic celestial event. On April 8th, for around four minutes, North Texas will be in darkness while the moon blocks the sun. This is going to be a big destination for astronomers and tourists and visitors that want to come in and experience something that won't happen again for 200 years. The Frontiers of Flight Museum has been planning for the eclipse since 2017. They'll host a viewing party with 2,500 visitors from around the world, complete with a model of viewing glasses currently under construction. The event sold out in 48 hours. What's great about the museum is that it is um, a clear space uh, shot to the sky. So there's no interruptions. You can have a clear view from our parking lot outside. We'll also have a screen inside. We'll have all kinds of activities looking at the sun and the moon. It's a brief event that's expected to draw big crowds. Airbnb says it's seeing a nearly 600% surge in searches for Texas over the solar eclipse weekend. And Visit Dallas says it's seeing a jump in hotel and short-term rental occupancy rates. It is something unusual for a Monday in April, and I think people are really drawn to it. Erickson Torres says as the date draws near, the excitement at the museum is palpable, both for the exposure and the educational opportunities. For us, this gets a chance for us to be on the world stage, to bring um, tourism as a destination, Dallas as a destination. Brooke Rogers, CBS News, Texas.